Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I will be comparing the original legendary overdrive pedal Maxon OD808 reissue made in Japan against the Bonsai 9-way Screamer from JHS made in USA. The Maxon reissue pedal has the original circuit from back in 1979 with the JRC4558 IC chip, whereas the Bonsai replicated the circuit with their own technology and without that specific chip. I am not going to talk too much about these pedals since I already did so in other videos. Links to those videos in the description below. In this video, I will loop a guitar riff and a lick through the overdrive pedals using my Boss RC3 loop station. I created the loop using my Solar V electric guitar with Solar Duncan humbucking pickups. The riff will go to the EVH 5153 50 watts amplifier, and the lick will go to the Marshall DSL. 20 watts amp. Both amps will be connected to a 2x12 angle cabinet with vintage 30 speakers. One speaker will be mic with the legendary Shure SM57 microphone. The preamp that I'll use is the Neve 1073 DPX. This is not a sponsored video. Let's get into it.
moving to the Marshall. Let me know in the comments below which pedal did you like the most. Let me give you my two cents. The Maxone Overdrive OD808, it is really nice and smooth. It makes the sound really creamy. It is uh, not an overdrive that it is exaggerated or anything like that. It just cleans up really nice that muddiness of the EVH 5150 amp, and that is exactly what it also does on my angle Fireball 25 that I have checked out in uh, other videos. So it's nice and good. Uh, and then the JHS Bonsai 9-way Screamer pedal, it is also fantastic. I think the 808 mode, it really sounds like the original reissue from Maxon. Um, and remember, the JHS was a model after one of the vintage ones, so there's a very slight difference, but um, when you have this on a mix, really, I don't think there's gonna be a big difference because it also cleans the muddiness of the amp. So that was fantastic. And I tried to match the settings, of course, not necessarily are gonna be 100% equal settings. Noon is not exactly noon in the other pedal. However, I tried to match with my ears and it more or less uh, gave really uh, the same smoothness as the original. And remember, this one uh, is a replica of that original circuit and without that very uh, special chip, which actually just demonstrates that uh, it is not just about that original chip. You can recreate that goodness with other new technologies, such as the one in the Bonsai JHS pedal. And in addition, because the Maxon is not as uh, powerful in, the, in terms of the overdrive uh, or even the tone knob, when I was doing the leak, on the Marshall, I think I prefer the JHS pedal because it gives me the choice to go to the Kili mode or the JHS mode, which is a modification of the original 808 sound. 
And actually, I was loving the leak on the TS10, which is known by very many people. The, the pedal, the TS10 is the pedal that John Mayer really likes to play through. So basically, the TS10 mode, the XR mode, the Kili mode, and the JHS mode for the leak, I think they were much better than the original Maxon. Now, there is a price difference. The Maxon is going for about $120. The JHS pedal bonsai goes for about $250. However, you get basically nine different pedals, which is great. Uh, so that is going to be up to you to see if what you're looking for, it's worth that price difference. If you only want to clean up your amp, then you're, you'll be definitely really good with a Maxon. If you want to go beyond that, then, and you want to stay in the, in, in, in the sound that uh, the 808 or a TS9 can give you, then definitely the JHS is also a great investment. It depends on your needs. Here in my studio, I love playing around with both. One day I turn one on and the next day I turn on the other one. And that really brings me a whole lot of happiness. So, and with that, that is all for this episode. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.